Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at that seventh grade block um, or seventh block grade spreadsheet that we typed up in Google Sheets yesterday. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of your data typed in there and all of your numbers are correct. And after you're done that, you're ready to go ahead and be putting in some formulas and doing some calculations. So the first formula that we're going to look at is going to be average. Um, and I'm going to scroll over and you'll find um, column P is the average column. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click in cell P3 where we want to find our first average. Um, you can click on this icon right here where I am. It's called the um, auto sum icon. But if you want to click on this little arrow to get the drop down menu to appear. All right, so the formula or function that we're looking for is average. So we're going to come down and we're going to click on average. Okay, then it's going to want you to select your data range. So what numbers do we want to average? We want to average the grades for the student. You can type in the range here, like you see examples here, or you can use your mouse, and I'm going to click right here um, in 03, and I'm going to drag backwards to the first grade for that student. And you can see here where it said it went in and put that range in for me. So from B3 to O3. So I'm going to just press enter. And you can see it went ahead and calculated that average. All right, we want to click back on that cell. And then we're going to come right here. And as soon as you see that mouse change to that skinny plus sign, when you're on top of the square in the bottom right-hand corner, that's your fill handle. We're going to grab a hold of that. We're going to click and hold our, our left click down. And we're going to drag down. For all of the students and then we're going to let go. And you can see that that went ahead and automatically um, calculated all of those averages for you at once. Um, now you can come and you can use the icons up at the top to decrease the number of decimal places. So since we're talking about averages we average those and we round those to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to decrease the number of decimal places until I get them to zero. And then I have all of my grades nice and, and rounded up to the nearest whole number. Okay, then we're ready to move over to the bottom of our spreadsheet. And we want to look at the count function. Now the count function is actually just going to count how many numerical values you see in this column. So we're going to click where we want it to calculate that. And we're going to come back to our functions icon and click on the drop down menu. And we're going to click on count. Okay, once again, we'll go and select our range. So I'm going to start here at the top, and we're going to click and drag down until we get to our last student. We're going to let go, and then just simply press Enter. And that tells me that there are 15 grades in this column. All right, don't worry about using the fill handle yet. We're going to come back to that in a second. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the sum. So I want to add up all of these grades. Okay, so we're going to click in that box. Go back to our functions icon, choose sum. Now this time you want to make sure when you're selecting your data, do only select the grades. Do not come all the way down here and grab this count. You only want the 15 grades. So I'm going to let go, press enter, and you should get 1270 right there if you have selected the right data range. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to min. And the min is just the minimum number. So if I wanted to know what the lowest grade was um, in this, then I could go back up to my functions icon, click on that drop down, choose the min function, select my date, data range. Again, do not grab the count or sum numbers. You only want the grades. Let go and press enter. All right, so the lowest grade that the student made on this assignment was a 60. All right, max, um, of course, is going to give you the maximum number. So we're going to go back to our functions icon menu, choose max, select our data range, be sure to only select the student grades, and then we're going to press enter. And you should have 99 that appears there. All right, from here on out, it's actually very easy because we want to go ahead and figure out the count, sum, min, and max for all of our assignments. Um, but it's as simple as this. We're going to highlight with our mouse these four, um, or the, the, the range, B18 to B21, okay, the count, sum, and minimax values that we just found. Then we're going to put our mouse on top of that little square in the bottom right-hand corner again, the fill handle, and we're going to click and hold, and we're going to drag all the way over, and if you want to go ahead and get the average column too, you can, and then we're going to let go. 
So you can see that that went ahead and that calculated the count or the number of numerical values found in each of the column, which should be 15 for all of them. It gave us the sum of each of those columns. It gave us the minimum grade and it also gave us the maximum grade. All right, the last thing I want to show you how to do in this video is how to add borders or grid lines um, to your spreadsheet. So to do this, it's very simple. You're just going to either start at the top or bottom of your data and we are going to highlight our entire data range. Okay, then we are going to come to this icon right here. If you just put your mouse on top of it, it's called the borders icon. We're going to click on the drop down menu and we want to select the all borders option and watch what happens when we do that. We now have nice neat grid lines around all of our data. And that's how you're going to set up the seventh block grade spreadsheet. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.